Hey everybody, Chris here. In my last video, I went over five of the most profitable high income skills that you can teach yourself in just two weeks. And in this video, I want to tell you a little bit more about how to teach yourself and how to implement these skills. So if you haven't watched the video about the five most profitable skills, uh, go ahead and, and pause this video and watch it now. You can watch it here. I'll give you the link right here. So go ahead and watch that video, pause this one, and then come back when you're finished with that video. Okay. So now that you've watched the video about the five most profitable skills you can teach yourself in two weeks, um, I'm going to teach you seven steps how to go from deciding that you want to learn a high income skill to the point where you're actually doing it and getting paid. Okay, so step one is figure out which skill you want to pursue and choose one skill and be specific. So uh, a lot of people in this space suffer from what we call shiny object syndrome. They will be presented with one opportunity and they'll get all excited about it and they'll, they'll start learning that for a day and then the next day they'll be presented with a completely different opportunity and they'll start following that and get all excited about it, right? And, and they're constantly, their attention is somewhere else. So um, I'm telling you to find one thing and then shut out everything else. You know, there's a million different opportunities to make money. There's a lot of different high income skills that you can learn. But if you divide your attention between all of them, then you're never going to learn any of them very well and you're not going to make very much money. So be focused, choose one, and then stick with it. Okay, now you've figured out uh, what you want to choose. And um, uh, I, I meant to say you, you should be specific too. So if you chose that you want to do digital advertising, for example, you want to find one platform that you want to get really good at. So maybe it's Facebook, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's LinkedIn, right? Find one platform and study that and only that. You want to be as specific as possible. Okay, so step two is find somewhere to start learning. So there's two ways to do this. And uh, my recommendation, my strong recommendation would be that you find a paid course. <coughs> find a course that is created by somebody who has already accomplished what you are looking to accomplish. So somebody who is already, who is already getting paid a lot of money to because he knows this skill and he's figured out one how to do this like how he's learned the skill and figured out how to make a business out of it because uh, if you find a paid course he will tell you from A to Z how he did it and how you can copy it so I highly recommend that you know usually you have to pay for it that's probably you might have to pay a thousand dollars or two thousand um, dollars so be willing to spend some money I really recommend it I really think this is the best option you know, you can find free content, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but the paid content is great because, one, you have the authority, you have the person who, who has uh, already done it successfully, and even better if it's somebody who's already has taught other people to do it successfully. And then also it's a lot better structured. So the paid course is really nice. Um, and, yeah, you know, it's, it's 1000 or $2,000, or, you know, some of them are cheaper, some are more expensive, but... Uh, it sounds like a lot of money, but, but put in perspective for a minute. You know, how much do you pay for a college degree? People go $50,000, $100,000 into debt for a college degree to learn from people who have done basically nothing, right? People who have been in school their whole life, and yet people will, will take on uh, five, six figures worth of debt to learn from these people. So to, um, to pay $1,000 or $2,000 from people who have actually achieved what you want to achieve and have, have, are going to tell you from A to Z how to do it is much more valuable than the college degree that you spent $50,000 or $100,000 on. So put that in perspective. Okay, with that said, you know, I know it's, uh, that's not going to be possible for everybody. You know, maybe you don't have any money and maybe you don't have any credit and you can't spend $1,000 on a course. Well, that's okay. I'm going to teach you what to do uh, if you can't do that. If you can't do that, if you absolutely cannot pay for a course, what I would do is just uh, spend some time searching around Google and YouTube for whatever it is you learn, want to learn. So search for um, search for free copywriting course, for example, if you want to learn copywriting, and find try to find a free course. Okay, the free course probably is not going to be as good as the paid course. Well, almost definitely is not going to be as good, but you can still find some quality content that's free. And uh, if it's, you know, usually they're kind of incomplete, they, they gloss over a lot of things. So if it glosses over things, you can always hit pause and then go research, go find a blog article, find a YouTube explaining each part of it. 
So just find somewhere to start. Find some course, whether it's a paid course or a free course. Have that in mind to start. Okay, so that's step two. Now, step three is really important, so I really want to encourage you guys, do not skip step three. Uh, step three is to find a company or product to use for practice. Now, the best way to learn, well, really anything, is by doing. So you learn a new concept, and then you put it into practice. Well, in order to be able to practice, you need something to market, right? If you're, uh, if you're doing copywriting, you need to write sales letters about something. If you're doing advertising, you need to advertise something. Um, if you're doing social media management, you need to have some product that you're promoting with your social media management. Okay, so you've got to find a company or a product that you can, that you can promote as practice. So I'll give you a couple ideas for how to do this. Uh, one is to offer to work for free for some company. So uh, a lot of companies would be happy for the, to, to find this. So would be happy to have somebody that will work for free for them to do their marketing for them. So find, um, if, if there's somebody you know that owns a company, that's a great place to start. Maybe somebody you know owns a restaurant or a lawn care service or whatever it is. Maybe they, they sell a product. If there's somebody you know, go to that person and say, hey, I'm looking to learn XYZ skill. Uh, would you let me promote your company for free? And chances are, a lot of people will say yes. If you don't know anybody who owns a business that would work for that, then um, search in Facebook groups. Go find Facebook groups for for business owners in your area, and um, like write a message and say, "Hey, I'm looking for a company that would be interested in having me do free X Y Z service." Right? You'll probably get some responses. Keep going until you do get some responses, because some free services from somebody who's learning is a pretty good deal for a lot of companies, especially because a lot of companies are themselves at zero. So if you're learning, you're already a step ahead of them. So they'll be happy to have you work for free. Okay, and another another way to do it is just to get an affiliate product. I mentioned this in the video before. Go to clickbank.com and find a product that you can sell, somebody else's product that you don't even need to ask the person. You just sign up for clickbank.com, uh, get an affiliate link, and then you send people to their sales page, and if, uh, if the people buy, then you get paid. So that's pretty cool, right? Because then you actually get paid for what you're doing as well. Okay, so that's, that's step three. Um, again, that's really important. You really want some way that you can practice as you're going along. Now, step four is to actually start learning. And I, I mentioned in the last video, I said that these are skills that you could teach yourself in two weeks. Now, what I meant by that was two weeks of intensive learning. So you are making it your full-time job to learn this for the two weeks. And you don't absolutely have to do that this way, of course. You know, I know it's hard for some people to get two weeks off of work or two weeks off of whatever responsibilities. So um, it doesn't absolutely have to be this way, but I do like the intensive, um, the intensive learning. So if you can, then absolutely do it. If you have to take a week or two of vacation from work, then do it. It will be worth it, I promise. But if you can't do that, if that's not possible, then you can split it up however much you want. So if you're doing uh, two 40-hour weeks, let's say, if you're devoting that entirely to this learning, um, you can get the same amount of learning time if you do one hour a day for four months, for example. Uh, one hour work day, that is. So you can split it up how you, however you want. Or you could, you could do something in between where you do one hour a day on the weekdays and then do... Uh, devote eight hours on Saturday, something like that. Uh, you know, whatever works for you, the more the more condensed you make it, the, the better it is because the more momentum you gain. But, you know, whatever you have to, obviously you have to work around your schedule. So do what works for you. And then um, this is really important. I want you to implement as you go. So what I mean by that is as you're taking a course, as you're learning um, other things, like, and, and for example, if you're if you're taking a course and the course explains a concept but doesn't really teach you how to do it, go find how to do it, right? If this is something that you think would be useful, go find how to do it. Go search in YouTube or search in Google how to do X, Y, Z. So if you're taking a course on, on Facebook marketing, for example, and it talks about split testing, but it doesn't really tell you how to do a split test, go figure out how to do a split test. Go find that somewhere else and then implement as you go. So whatever new concept you learn, Stop 
and actually put it into practice before you learn anything else. So watch the video, watch, read the, the lessons, whatever your course is, um, listen to what they have to say, and then go try it. So again, like if they're talking about split testing, go run a split test before you learn about anything else. Go create an ad with a split test in it, or whatever it is that you're learning, go and, and do it. Go actually do it, and um, so you get the get the knowledge actually ingrained rather than something that's just going to go in one ear and out the other. So implement as you go. It's very important. Okay, now step five. This is after your two weeks or after your full learning period is over. You know you're not going to be a, a super expert at this, by the way. You're going to be you're going to be decent at it, right? But decent is good enough to start. So that's the point. Like. Uh, What's the quote? Imperfect action beats inaction every time, right? You're gonna get you're gonna get better and better as you go along, as you actually start doing this for a living, as you start practicing on the job. You're gonna eventually get to the point where you're an expert at this stuff. But you're not gonna be an expert right now. You're gonna be just good enough to uh, just good enough to actually sell your services. So um, consider this like a college graduation and and celebrate. So step five is to celebrate. You know, after you graduated from college, uh, well, after I graduated from college, there was a, a big celebration and people sent me money and there was a, you know, a big graduation with everybody in those silly gowns. It's like there's, there's this big to-do over, you know, trying to trick you into believing that you did something more productive than just waste four years of your life and a whole lot of money, right? So... Uh, now that you've done something that's actually productive, celebrate, you know, ingrain it. And you've, you've taken action. You've taken action by yourself. You've done something that wasn't expected of you. And you've done something to make your life uh, improve significantly. So, so, you know, celebrate that. Go have dinner with, uh, with your family or with a loved one or have a party, you know. Do something to commemorate it. I highly recommend it because you do deserve some credit for that. Okay, now step six is to create a portfolio for your practice project. So if you've been implementing along the way, like I told you to, then you should have a whole bunch of uh, stuff that you have created. You will have, if you're doing advertising, you will have created ads. If you're doing social media management, you will have created social media profiles. Uh, if you're doing copywriting, then you will have sales letters, or uh, if you're doing video, then you will have videos, etc., etc. Put that all together or put your best content, that is, together into a portfolio that you can show potential clients. And also, if you have, if you have uh, quantifiable results, then show that as well. Like, um, and, and for example, if you're doing copywriting, uh, some of these are a little bit more difficult than, than others to find quantifiable results, but um, if you learn just a tiny little bit of advertising, that can help you actually test things. So, um, again, I... I I told you to focus on one thing and one thing only, but if you learn a little bit of advertising on the side, that will help you to test the results. So if you have sales letters, for example, um, write each of your sales letters into an ad, or write five sales letters, write each of them into an ad, target the same audience, target the, use the same picture, and um, put those in, like on Facebook ads, put each of those into an ad, and then you can test which one performs the best, and you can actually get metrics. You can get numbers about how many people clicked, and like what the click-through rate is, etc. So that'll help you get some get some proof for your uh, portfolio. If you don't have actual sales to show, you can show some click-through rates or something like that. So um, get create your portfolio, put your portfolio together. Okay. Now uh, the last and final step, step seven, is market your business. Now uh, this is a broad topic. And it will be different compared to depending on what different business that you do. But uh, if you if you did a paid course, probably the paid course will give you some good ideas on how to market your business, and will probably have a lot more insight than I do in this video. But uh, in case you need some extra ideas, I'll give you a few ideas of my own. Now, uh, first thing I would say is to find companies that are not doing your skill very well at the moment, or maybe aren't doing it aren't doing it at all. In the last video, I gave the, the example of somebody who doesn't have a website. Like if you search through the yellow pages, for example, find some companies that don't have a website, then, then you could build them a website. Or maybe find companies that uh, have a website, but have a website that's not very well mobile optimized. Then you could reach out to them and offer to 
build them a mobile optimized website, etc. And then you can create brochures and actually visit the company in, in person. So if, uh, if you have websites, for example, and you can show in your brochures that you build these websites and have some prices and, um, you know, say, hey, I'll, I'll build you a mobile optimized website for $300 in two days, right? Because you're just using just drag and drop tools anyway, so it's pretty easy, right? So, um, so you can do that and actually go visit the company and say, hey, here's my brochure. If you ever thought about having a mobile optimized website, give me a call, send me an email, etc. Or uh, find people on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a pretty good uh, lead generation system for business to business. So if, you, um, if you're offering digital advertising services for realtors, for example, go on LinkedIn and search for realtors in your area and connect with them. And you know, don't try to sell them right off the bat, but kind of get a relationship, try to figure out where they're coming from, what they're trying to do, and then say, hey, I can help you with getting leads. I can help you with advertising. And then um, go to networking events. Networking events are nice because you can, you can meet people that you probably weren't thinking about meeting before, that you weren't actually looking for. So you meet people and you can kind of figure out what their specific problems are, what their specific needs are, and you actually talk to them in person so you can actually get a personal relationship with them. So it's a pretty good way to meet people who are interested in your business or service. Okay, so that's it. That is all seven steps. So that will take you all the way from kind of having the idea in your mind of, hey, I want to learn something that will make me more money, to actually knowing your service, um, being able to provide it to other people, and marketing it to those people. So uh, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell beside the subscribe button, because I'm going to be be uh, presenting a lot more content like this in the future. So hit the hit the bell so you get the notifications. And then if there's somebody that you care about that you think would really benefit from this information, then share it. Or maybe there's a lot of people that would benefit. So you could share on Facebook or Twitter. Um, I would very much appreciate it. I'm sure your friends would too. So that's it for today. You guys have an awesome day. I'll talk to you later.